So your brain never gets a chance to turn off unless you're sleeping and a lot of people don't even get a lot of sleep. So that's why I love to meditate. So meditation for me came um, maybe about five or six years ago is when I first really got introduced to meditation and started actually meditating. So I remember the very first time I tried to meditate, I sat down on the floor and <laughs> I was in my bedroom at the time and I sat down on my floor and I was trying to just like be quiet. And you know, all the books I read and videos I watched said, hey, you should just like really focus on your breathing. And I could not get my mind to stop. It was just running, 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 running. It was I, everything from what I was gonna eat later on to, oh my God, I forgot to do this, to I'm starving and my stomach is growling. There was so many things going on at the time. And so that was after just sitting there for literally like one minute. So as time went on, I kept, I kept at it though. And I kept extending the time to like a minute, to a minute and 30 seconds, to two minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. And so now I love meditation. I can meditate now for probably about at least an hour, maybe 45, nah, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour if I really have the time to. But most days, you know, if I'm doing something quick, I try to do 10, maybe 20 minutes. Sometimes I just need, I feel like what I did wasn't enough. And so I really need to get into, there's a specific zone that meditation can put me into. And that's what I'm looking for every time I meditate. And I can feel it when it happens. Like I'm, I'm meditating, I could be sitting there for five, 10 minutes, but I think it happens when my body starts to calm down and relax. And then once I get into this true state of relaxation is when I get into this zone. And that's what I'm looking for. It feels like weight has lifted it feels like i don't know what's going on around me like i'm just with me internally and it is so peaceful and i love it so like i said meditation has not come easy to me it has taken a lot of practice and i learned that for me meditation i need guided meditation so there's the meditation where you can just sit in a room and be quiet i can do that now but i still prefer actual guided meditation uh to start off with so what really made it easy for me was I found this podcast. It's called the Meditation Minis Podcast. And I found it on like Spotify. And that's still what I listen to. So her name is Shel Hamilton. It's the author or the, the host of this podcast. And she hosts like between like, like 10 minute, 12 minutes sometimes um, guided meditations. And so she starts off with like close your eyes and focusing on your breathing. And she'll like guide you through something. So you know, imagine that you're in a forest with lush green grass and the sun is shining and this, or imagine your happy place. Like she tells you to imagine specific things to kind of get you into this um, relaxed state. And I absolutely love it. And so now I've gotten to the point where I'll do one episode and I'm still kind of not there. Like maybe I haven't meditated in a while or maybe the day has just been crazy and I haven't had a time to, a chance to get into that zone where I feel like meditation is, has given me benefits. So I will do two episodes. I'll extend that and do more just to kind of get there. But that podcast has helped me so much to just relax. Um, even times when I was going through things like internally where I needed to sit down and was just like really stressed. Meditation has saved my butt so many times. I used to go in an old place we used to live. I used to go, we had a huge walk-in closet and I used to do my meditation in there. I would turn the lights off and I would sit on the floor with my pillow and that would be my relaxation time. It was absolutely beautiful. And what the benefits of what I've learned from meditation for me is that obviously I am more patient. My stress levels are way down and I think that when things do happen because life is going to happen when things do happen I'm able to deal with them uh I'm in a better state to deal with them my mind is more calm you know I'm not as like uptight about things when it happens it's just like hmm okay this thing is happening let's solve it you know instead of being in this like panic state or stress state or anything like that but the more I meditate the more my life seems to be better um, and less stressed. So I, I have intention to meditate every day. I would love to meditate first thing in the morning to be able to, you know, really get into that state and start the day off on a good space. But that doesn't always happen with, you know, family and kids and everything 
you know, moving around trying to get out the door. So sometimes I do it before bed. Sometimes it actually puts me to sleep, which is even sometimes even better, you know, if I do it at the end of the day. But I'd rather not fall asleep. I'd rather do it when I have the time to just focus on that and I'm not also sleepy, so there could be a chance that I fall asleep. But I just really enjoy meditation. So if you are new to meditation, I say definitely check out that podcast. Again, it's called Meditation Minis and it has I love it. I absolutely love it. Um or any type of books. There's also a, a book that I have by Headspace. Um, it's like a guide to meditation, which I have not had a chance to read yet, but there is a um, show on Netflix that is very similar. So it's Headspace Guide to Meditation. So re- go through that, watch that. So it will talk about this guy's journey. And then there's these meditation exercises at the end of each one. And I think those are really, really helpful if you are new to meditation. So please check it out. I, like I said, I try to meditate daily. It doesn't happen for a while, but I always try to get it in a few times a month. And it really, really just calms down like an anxiety or worries or stress levels. It really just helps me feel centered. And that's when I feel most like myself. So give it a shot. So meditation for me came um, maybe about five or six Six years ago is when I first really got introduced to meditation and started actually meditating.